What's going on everybody? My name is Vanax. Welcome back to the channel. I got a spillover guide for you guys. Crisis event, tips and tricks in the most recent update for Rainbow Six Extraction. It's a brand new game mode. If you didn't already know, just jump on the game and go play it. If you want to know more about it, I also have videos on the channel showing how to play it, showing how we beat it first try, etc. But this one, this video is dedicated to tips and tricks and guide for those who are struggling to finish it, for those who need help in the studies so they can unlock the auto turret, the brand new auto turret react gear, as well as getting the experience, etc. for their operators and the milestones to get it 100% uh, the game. But with that being said, let's talk about one of my number one tips. Now, if you didn't know, there's different uh, sprawl colonies, like little locations that spawn, and you have to go and run canisters to them, put the canister into the ground, and then defend the canister for a minute and a half or something like that. I think it's, I'm pretty positive it's a minute and a half. Point is, there's different mutations for each of those colony sprawls. So there's the elites, the stealth, the cloaked ones, and then the uh, spores. So all you need to do is do the elites first. Get those out of the way, unless you struggle more with the cloaked Archeans, but more on that later on how you can deal with those. You could also go and do the stealth ones first. Now there's three of each one. Now, and there's also three phases. Phase one will have two of them, then phase two will have three, and then phase three will have four. Each phase obviously getting harder, having more enemies, and having harder enemies as well, like smashers, tormentors, apexes, etc. will start to spawn the farther into the phases you are. So I highly recommend doing the elite first and then the cloaked and then the spores. Leave the spores for last. Now one great tip that I had, I've been looking over Reddit and then I also live streamed it last night and some people had mentioned to bring extra canisters to the areas that you're defending as acting as decoys because the enemies will run and try to destroy those canisters even though they're not actually being used. So that's actually a really good tip. I don't find it being completely necessary but it is something definitely nice to have now if there was ever one react gear or explosive that you should use in this it's going to be the scan mines this was like made for the scan mines just have one person in your squad get it and then pick up anywhere from three to four of the react uh pickups the react box you know the crate and just have that person run around and drop the scan mines all over the place more specifically, near the areas like hallways or points where the uh, sprawl, the canisters are going to go, just kind of put them all over the place because the scan mines will actually see the cloaked Archeans. The scan mines are excellent since it's just basically a giant horde map where you just get swarmed everywhere. Having the scan mines placed all over the map just lets you see where enemies are at all times. Now, I recommend just one person on your squad bring them and then allow them to pick up like three to four times of the react crate so that they can have, I don't know how many they can have, probably like 15 scan mines, 20 scan mines. Now, talking about some operators, some good operators that basically um, are really good is anyone who has an LMG is already phenomenal for this type of game mode, but then some of the better operators would be Lion, Gridlock, Jaeger, Alibi, and Tachanka. Now, obviously, there's other operators who are going to be great, but Lion, because his drone is perfect for the Cloaked Arkeens, Gridlock is obviously, you can shut down areas. Jaeger, ADS turret, you can put a bunch of those all over the place. Very strong, in my opinion. Alibi, obviously, throw her clones around, and then they scan enemies and distract them, and then Chachanka's freaking turrets just mow these people down and keeps them safe from projectiles from, like, the Apex and the Tormentors and the Spikers. Now, if there's one thing, one thing to consider is do one canister at a time. That's very important. I've tried doing three at a time, but tried doing two at a time. It just gets very, very chaotic. It's totally doable, but it gets very chaotic. And more times than not, you're going to end up having to go back and put the canister back in because the enemy Arkeans destroy it. But talking about that, I will say for the first phase, like phase one, where you have to get two of them, I say rush that. Just pretty much pick up the thing and run straight to it and just drop it in. Now you can do one at a time there or two at a time. It's pretty easy. Phase one is really easy and that will save you a lot of time allowing you more time to get ready for phases two and phases three. Because again, like I said, I saw a lot of people complaining that they just can't quite finish it. They keep running out of time. Now, one person did point out that you want to wait to grab the react crates in the beginning, the supply crates with for react tech because Every time you use your reinforcements, which you get three of when you reinforce like a wall or something like that, you run out of it. But then when you grab a react crate pickup, it gives you those three reinforcement walls back again. Now, I don't necessarily say reinforce all the walls all the time because that does take up time. And as I said, people run out all the time. But do it sometimes, especially in those close-knit areas where you're forced to fight in these tiny little boxes, these tiny rooms where enemies are coming everywhere. Try to reinforce the walls as much as you can. Now, another solid tip that 
surprisingly I still see people doing this is do not come in with a silenced weapon not a silenced primary not a silenced secondary just go in loud and proud you need all the damage you can get there's no point in going silenced because you can't stealth any aspect of this game mode now one of the biggest most important studies is getting headshots while cloaked and I think it's actually very challenging if you do not prepare yourself properly the easiest way to do this would be to play as lion or as i said earlier having a bunch of scan mines already pre-set up all over the map which then allows you to basically see the outline of the enemies and then you can just shoot them in the head it's pretty simple honestly it really is and it won't take you too long to get it all you have to do is get 30 headshots now i know i haven't given too many tips but to be fair i don't think honestly the game mode is extremely extremely challenging as long as you're with a good squad now that being said I actually played quite a few times with randoms and got lucky. Safe to say, you just never know what's going to happen when you play with randoms. So obviously I highly suggest jumping into a Discord that has a looking for group and people who are taking it seriously, but also you could just push your luck and see how far you can make it with, you know, randoms because sometimes that is the ultimate challenge. Anyways, I'm going to leave you guys here with one of the playthroughs uh, where we finished it all the way through with uh, some of my subscribers so you guys can watch and see how we played it, what tips that we do. Uh, ways that we play the game, etc. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bunched over here together, so they're not going to be too far from each other. Has anyone tried, like, what happens if you do all three at once? Is it actually harder, or no? You know, I've never really thought about doing that. I'm going to be honest. That would make an interesting challenge, though. Hmm, I forgot about the med kits. I just grabbed one for the first time. Oh, yeah. I don't know how I lost like two health, but oh, let's push it high. There we go. Not on my watch. Ah, uh, anyone got a canister? Oh, right here. Well, the scanner's it's supposed to detect invisible, I thought. Um, I think those are the, uh, the other ones. I could be wrong. There are a few of them that do that. Like, those are, like, the scan mines, right? I think they're, like, the higher tier yeah. ones. The one actually do that. This is where Lion comes in clutch. Wait, can the turrets uh, not see them when they're invisible too? I don't know, it doesn't look like they can. Yeah, mine never shot once. Mine shot a couple, but that's it. Only because they were uncloaked by the time they got here. Make your with the objective. Wait, I had one here and here. <laughs> I'm crazy, can I bust this down? Gotta run all the way around and grab this real quick. Item secured. I think that was all. I'm very low on ammo for my pistol, apparently. Uh, so I have one more over there. That's okay. We'll grab it later. I'm gonna stick him here for the future event. We're gonna go do cloak next.
All right, we're doing that next uh, close one, right? Yes, it's right here. Sweet. Good. Go. That creature just died. They didn't explode and the door still broke. I don't understand. Here they come, boys. Got a brood over there in the corner. Can't mark it. That was exploding, boy. Last phase. Let's go. Nine minutes, though. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of time. Also, we're out of React Tech as an FYI. What the heck? Oh, all I can see was his gun. Alright, let's get What's up, Jackson? How are you guys doing? Mr. Jello, is the game dying? Uh, they just reported that they had 5 million players like, just the other week. Not at one time, but overall. He watches the doorway, I can just watch Okay. How much is each objective? Is it two minutes? That's a uh, mid 30, I think. We'll say when we put it down. Actually, yeah, it's mid 30. Okay, so as soon as this one's done, let's just start the next one right up. Yeah. Typically, we should be able to finish it just as the three minute marker happens, usually. In the few games I've played. Yeah, everybody lost their headgear, resets every crisis event. You can just go and earn it back up. Alright, now my scanners are relevant again. Shoot this 
off of me. Hey, I got a spore on me. Can you help me out real quick? Oh, shit. <laughs> I took too long. This is my turn. I'm like, why? That's why. Monday. Oh. Keep an eye on the cannon. Our keens are prepping for an attack. Outbreak was better than extraction. I watched Outbreak gameplay. Extraction is a way better core game than Outbreak is. Three and a half minutes. Plenty of time. Taking a position. I got one. Resupply on station. Item secured. Alright, where is this last one? Uh, it should be over where we just were. Just a little bit closer to the airlock. Yeah, I found it, found it. That's farther away, actually. All right, we're gonna have some apexes, boys. Let's do this. Apex on the right. Apex down. I'm gonna start spending some more tracking. I love how the, her tracks are just like broken right now because of the spillover or sprawl. We got another apex somewhere. Found him left side. Two minutes left. Apex dead. Ten seconds. Yeah, we should have this covered the tracks into the wood. GG boys. Let's go. 
clutch. First run of the night. GG's. Let's go, dude. Heck yeah. And there we go. <clears throat> Let's go, dude. GG. No one's gonna get the health bonus. I went down. Yeah, dude. Way to go. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Look at all those kills, though. Like, two, 176, 196, 25. We freaking killed it. 40,000.